it going guys we're back and this time we're on something different and that is the crew wild run i picked up the expansion today now i know the game came out a month ago november 17th to be exact however with the launch of many other games mainly need for speed 2015 that one occupied most of my time during the month of november throughout december so, you know, I really didn't have time for this game, but you know what, now, seeing that Need for Speed, you know, we've already caught up with the latest DLC, we're all caught up with that game, basically. We're still going to be producing more videos, though, there's so many more cars that I still can do, but we have a lot more time on our hands, so I figured, why don't we play something different, and this game is a perfect fit. So, the Crew Wild Run, I definitely want to get into. I want to try it out, and right now I'm just doing my qualifying event, so I'll be qualifying with the monster truck, with the drag car, and last but not least, with the drift car, to finally get the exception to go to Summit Park. So some of you guys who have already played this game obviously have gone through this mission, so it's nothing really new to you guys, but some of you guys may be new, may have never seen the game before, and maybe a game that you guys want on your Christmas. Yes, so uh, it's a perfect fit to be watching and to you know gauge yourself if you want to actually get this game or not. I think you should. I've only played roughly about 10 to 15 minutes so far, and I mean I'm not complaining. They definitely amped it up compared to the last crew. Uh, the original crew was amazing. Absolutely love that game, but the updates they added to this game, the graphics enhancement is just crazy. Looks much better, way more fun and a lot more in general to do. So uh, right now, as you can see, I did two backflips, which I was blown away. Backflips are really hard to do sometimes, and I was so shocked that I was able to do them both back to back, no problem at all. Uh, but there we go, we finally completed the mission in our Ford Raptor monster truck. This thing is a beast, you can hear it. And now we're gonna be doing our drag race in the Corvette, oh yeah. Corvette Stingray, absolutely love the way this car looks. And we have three runs right now, trying to warm up the tires. This is something new to me, trying to get used to. I got lucky there, got a perfect burn. And I believe, yeah, I got a perfect start on my first gear. Not too bad, not gonna lie. And I love, I love the wheelie. I can't believe that. I was not expecting to do a wheelie in a Corvette. I've never even seen that done before. So, to see this car do a wheelie was really cool, and I think that was my best time out of the three runs. We'll have to see. I don't remember if the second or third one I get a better time or not, but I'm pretty sure this was my best run. Even though my shifting was good, it wasn't perfect, I still think I got the best time. But uh, that was, what, 16 seconds down? Uh, I would say that has to be half a mile. There's no way that's a quarter mile. This thing is way faster than 16 seconds down a quarter mile. But here we go, second run, and I'm just falling a little bit too short. I only got a good burn there. It's very hard, honestly, it really is. You guys that have been playing this game, let me know how, how you guys have been doing with your drag racing and getting it right on the point. I find it a little bit tricky. You have to have really good timing. But um, yeah, let me know. This car is crazy fast. We're going like 315 miles per hour. I can't believe that. Like 315 miles per hour. That is insane. That is not even possible. That is not possible at this moment with any car. Really, it isn't. And this Corvette easily does it, which is just, just crazy. But uh, here we go. Our last and final run in the Corvette. Will this one be the best time let's hope we get the tires in the green so we get a perfect burn which we do yes let's go now let's get a perfect launch bam perfect first gear perfect second gear perfect third wow all three shifts perfect and we're using the boost we're picking up speed super fast are we gonna be our first run time of 16 seconds we are not. How does that happen? How? How does that even, how does that work? This was by far the best run. You know, we had the best, best tires, the best shifting, and 
we don't beat our first time. Please answer that, guys. But there we go. We finished it. So, so far, we finished the monster truck and the drag racing. And now we're on to drifting in the Subaru BRZ in the rain. And holy, they added a lot, especially to the drifting aspect. It used to be a little bit more difficult in the past because we were stuck either drifting mostly in dirt spec or sometimes if you're lucky, perf spec would work. But now we actually have a true drift spec in this game. Makes it a lot more fun, especially with the rain. The rain is something new. Haven't seen it yet. This is my first time actually playing the game in the rain. And wow, it definitely makes a difference. Helps the car slide a lot more. Adds a whole new dynamic to the game. So if you're actually racing, you're gonna have to you know, keep in mind that your grip is gonna be very, very, very low now with the water, you know, causing your tires to lose grip. But holy, absolutely love the drifting. I don't know why people are complaining. They don't really like the handling. I, I like it personally. I don't think it's I don't think it's an issue. I think it's perfectly fine. You just kind of got to get used to it. Every game is different, and you kind of got to get used to the physics of the crew. The crew has a very unique physics. So does Need for Speed, and so does Forza, and so does Gran Turismo. All those different games all have their own type of physics, and you kind of just got to adapt to them. That's basically what you have to do and this one is in my opinion a very very easy game to adapt to it's a very arcadey style game so it really shouldn't be a problem so for all the haters who don't like the handling that sucks for you but all of us enjoy the game and we're having a great time on it and wow this car can definitely drift i don't know how much power it has it was just a car given to me as you saw but i mean it has to have at least i'm guessing at least 500 horsepower to be able to slide like this like it's doing a really good job and i'm impressed i really am i absolutely love this car and i can't wait to further progress in the game and unlock more because with that i'm going to be unlocking more cars doing more car builds for you guys mostly with the new specs of the game so i can show you guys you know different cars and different options but I hope you guys enjoyed this first video on the Crew Wild Run. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. And I will talk to you guys next time.